Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily angelic message for April 13th, 2024. If you want a personal reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. Get in now while I'm still ahead on the readings because if other projects come in and then, you know, it falls behind, <laughs> right? Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Oh, there we go. Numbers 47, Sacred Pool. See, this is a very sacred opening kind of time. And it's not going to go unchallenged is what they're saying. It's not going to, like, as we try to get into a higher consciousness and expanded awareness, the shadow aspect within ourselves is maybe going to start feeling a little left behind, right? And so it's going to come rearing its head, maybe putting some fear in us or doubt or... Um, in some people's cases, it will overtake them. It will completely overtake them. That's where we start seeing what in our society we would call personality disorders. That from a spirituality, it's not a psychological standpoint, but from a spirituality standpoint, that is darkness that has entered the vessel. And um, it's at varying levels, depending on what that person has uh, allowed in. So this is the kind of thing... The way that they get entry, uh, there's a couple of ways, but one of them is when someone has been destroyed. And unfortunately, this usually happens as a child. Their innocence maybe gets destroyed or they don't have a sense of safety, you know, something along those lines. And what that does is when we talk frequency, spirituality, we would say that lowers or sort of compresses the soul light. And if you want to see it, there's like a vacancy. And if you're in a place of feeling low about yourself and you kind of don't care, you don't notice what just joined you. Not always. Now, in some cases, now hang, uh, hear me out here. In some cases, that darkness that came in, it has a frequency. And it is a frequency of, I am powerful. I will protect you. They didn't love you the way I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, they didn't love you the way, I, yes, this is like an energy. So think about, you know, some of you who are religious, when you're fearful and you call out to Jesus and you feel like Jesus is coming and, and surrounding you and enveloping you in love and protection and, and grace and all of that, the same kind of thing can happen, but we leave that door open. It comes on in and it takes up residency, okay? And it, it's like a squatter now, okay? Like it's not going to go. So sometimes people will latch on to that because it gives them some sense of normalcy. It gives them some sense of being accepted and wanted. Even though the darkness doesn't want that person for the reasons... Like you want to be wanted because you're loved, right? Like you in validation that you are loved and understood and protected and all that stuff. They're wanted for their energy. And f this is interesting. Um, so that they can work through a person to actually, they're calling them darts. So kind of like darting at other people and into their energy field because when they puncture it, it's, it's giving, I'm giving this image of like a balloon, like a balloon would pop, but let's say it's a really big balloon and you just, a little hole's not going to do much except let the air out. That's where they get to siphon other people's energy. And that's the only thing that sustains them because they don't have light. I think that's the most incredible explanation I've ever heard them bring through about how this occurs so that's where you're seeing these people who are doing the unimaginable um there are some beings that <coughs> well i can't call them beings there are sort of a vapory energy i guess um that can come in and mimic a person so they look like a person, this would be like the people, like we say, are soulless. Okay, so that could happen. But mostly people are not soulless. They just, they've had that compressed light 
that left an entryway. Um, now it could go the opposite way too. Like I had traumas in my life and I felt low and that darkness was there, but I didn't let it go out to other people. I, I contained it within me. And then little by little, I started amping up my light more and more until there, I'm sure there's, I still have a shadow aspect. So, you know, there's still some element of that or I wouldn't be human, right? So I hope that makes sense. It was a long explanation. Angelsouls444.com for a reading. And we'll leave it there for today. I will see you tomorrow. Take care.